Hi there, welcome back to my channel, Coloring with Dee. My name is Donna. And so today I'm actually working in my kitchen, off of my kitchen table. If you've been watching any of my video videos, you can recognize that lovely little brown table right here. Anyway, not that that's that important. So today I am working on the, I believe this is the third installment of the Bagel Tiger from Johanna Basford's uh, Magical Jungle. Magical Jungle. And since, um, since I don't know really how long this is gonna take to finish, I started early so that um, so that I get it done in time. This is really the first project that I've done where it has a deadline, so it is a little nerve-wracking for me, I guess, in a sense. I want to make sure that I have enough time in order to complete it, especially since I'm using uh, pencils. So anyway, I am working on this project for two different projects. And the first one is that I am co-hosting with the Bibliophile Colorist for July's Biblio Jungles co-hosting project. And why do I call it a project? Anyway, uh, John, I want to thank uh, you very much for allowing me to co-host with you. It's, um, it's really very exciting. So the other thing too that I am coloring this for is for Becky's uh, Color Escape Community Project, which is Oh, I didn't do this before. For, let me go back to the Bibliophile Colorists. Um, uh, and that hashtag for that is Biblio Jungles. And so, yeah, Biblio Jungles. And then this one that's for Becky's Color Escape Community Project. It is hashtag Becky's Community Jungle. And this particular project allows uh, colorists to select a page in Johanna Basford's Magical Jungle and to color each page as a collective in order to complete a book in 2019 and once it's done and Becky has received all of the pages then she is going to assemble it together and it will be put out as a video with this uh, group project and I am really excited to see how um, everyone uh, completes their pages and we know that not everybody colors exactly the same and that's okay that's a, a good thing just like I know with uh, John John completes uh, his projects in many different uh, medium whether it is in markers or pencils, he does gel pens. Um, he did one for me as a challenge, is all stickles. So um, yeah, you know, and I know Becky does different mediums as well, markers, I know. I know she's also dabbling in watercolor. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started since I don't wanna take too, too long on this uh, video. I wanna kinda keep your attention going, etc. And you know, I don't wanna make this, you know, 6,000 uh, hours for, you know, a page. Anyway, so this is a particular area in which I am wanting to complete today. I have a couple, you know, the colors already picked up for this one and this one, but on this one, I don't have colors just yet, so I'm going to have to um, kind of play with it a bit. Anyway, so let me go ahead and get started. So for this particular section of leaves here, I am going to use what? I'm going to use if I could read my notes. So I need 908. Let me write these down while I'm doing it. So this is, let's see here. So this is going to be 908, which is dark green. I have terrible penmanship. Then Kelly green, which is 1096. What is the next number? looks like apple green nine one two so let me go through my handy dandy colors let's see no that's Prussian green oh that one's upside down and it's not in here this one this is for my leaves. Take my sandpaper out, my eraser. Okay, here's Kelly Green, which is in fact 1096. So 1096 is correct. And this must be Apple Green. Yes, this is Apple Green 912. And I need Dark Green. Ah, Dark Green, here we go, 908. Alrighty, so let me put those aside. Okay, 908. Okay, so how did I do this? Okay, let me go ahead with the dark green. That has a well, that has a decent tip on it. Let's try this here. Let's see if I can 
increase. I hope this is coming in frame because I'm still using my phone and because I don't have a camera yet and I don't have any other software in order to do the capture uh, through my webcam yet. So I'm still looking for that. And if I am yelling, I do certainly apologize. I'm still trying to get used to talking without yelling like I do normally with a speakerphone. Anyway, and I get so excited in coloring and whatnot that I am end up yelling. So anyway, alrighty. So let me go in here. And so I hope that um, you are doing well today. I hope this you know video finds you well. And if not, leave me a comment. Let me know. I certainly um, wish you well. And I will hope I'm doing this right. Well, I know there's no right and wrong. But I really want this to look different. I want to get the outline. I want to get the outline right. Anyway, so I am having a good day. I have gotten several of my chores actually done and I decided that while I'm having a good day and I've gotten some things together that I want to go ahead and reward myself for you know getting some chores done because sometimes I have a tendency to put off my chores and go do other things instead of what I need to and then I end up with not having completed anything for the day so this is my reward for getting some stuff done and if I get all of it done I will do another recording for the day. So this is good. This so far is coming out good. I, I really would like to have this not be as blurry, but I think that that will happen or it'll be, it will sharpen up once I have a chance to go over it again, I'm guessing. I don't know. But while you're watching this, you know, if you have suggestions on how I might improve my, my technique and what I'm doing, that would be great. I'm definitely open for suggestions. And... So that is good. Um, I'm still working. I don't know if, if you're new um, and if this is your first viewing of a video in this pro coloring film, my mini series. Um, I am working on a room I'm, that currently has been used for all of my hoarding through therapy and whatnot and a lot of encouragement I've gone through and started uh, getting rid of stuff. And I've been doing good in that in order to clear out an area in order to make for an art craft uh, room. So that uh, I have a dedicated area and it's big enough where I can have a filming place in one area. I have another area to do my bills and other correspondence and whatnot that I want to do. And then still have space enough where, you know, I can do one in one area do another in another area and still have a shared spot for my camera and my computer so that I can I can do all these areas plus I'd like to have I have a treadmill that I got from uh, my late sister-in-law that I would like to have her um, I'd like to put in this area as well so that I can watch YouTube or Netflix or whatever and have it you know stream it while I'm doing on the treadmill so it's a it's an extra incentive because I don't need to just sit down and watch stuff I'd like to still be active of course I'm active in my head but I'd like to tr have that translated into actual exercise for my body and the other thing too is the fact that I have lost a lot of weight and I want to keep that weight off I did um, thanks to medication gain weight and I've developed a terrible sweet tooth so I definitely want to work on getting that weight off it's not um, really a good thing hold on the phone is ringing Oh, I'm going to have to pause. Got to take this. Hold on. And there's no way to meet. Hi, everyone. So I am back. Had to take my phone call. So anyway, um, I started to color again. I was like, uh oh, wait a minute. I have to turn on the camera. So I was talking to my son. My son was telling me about my grandson Michael's baseball today. Of course, this is I'm recording this in April because, like I said, I'm not sure how long this is going to take me to complete. So anyway, I was doing some coloring but he was telling me about my grandson Michael who's hitting uh, who's hitting he hit somewhere so far every game he's hit a home run and he's also a pitcher and he's pitching really really well so he has other managers who are asking him about um, Michael's uh, 
going up to majors and different things that can be done with Michael after a little league season is over with in order to improve his skills even more. So that is really, really exciting. I'm, I'm excited for that. I love the fact that, you know, the grandkids have an outlet for baseball, um, or for their energy, I should say. And let's see, what color am I going to do next? That is going to be the next color down, which is the Kelly green. And that is apple green. And this is Kelly green. I would show you the numbers or whatever on the pencil, but unfortunately I don't have that ability since I can't see my screen. So I'm just going to go ahead and do some coloring here. Anyway, like I was saying, Michael is doing really well. His pitches are going about 40, 45 and the, um, uh, he's doing, he's doing really well and he is, um, I'm repeating myself. I have the picture in my head of what I want to say, but the words aren't coming out the right way. He is starting to get faster to where the pitches are um, more in the strike zone. And that's been, that's a really good improvement for him. He's also more confident. His stance is getting better. He's learning to change his stance when he changes his pitches. So that's really, really good. It's really exciting to see this. You know, you see, you know, I, my son was in baseball or Little League, but not for, not for too, too long. And then after that, he was in, um, Boy Scouts for several years. So that was also a good program. And both of my grandsons, actually all three of my grandsons, well, I have four grandsons, but one is in Idaho and he is five. Then I have here in California, I have um, Michael, Jacob, and Lucas. And Michael and Jacob are in the same level. I don't know what they call it, but it's not majors. It's, I don't know what but the uh, Lucas is in T-ball and that is so much fun to watch because it's it's all based on getting up to the bat and hitting the ball and running to the base and then when they're out in the field everybody's out in the in the outfield and infield and they're you know just concentrating on the kids uh, other kids of the other team hitting the ball and trying to run after the ball and all that good stuff and it's a really good time it's no pressure it's no no, nothing. It's just getting into the fun part of, of baseball and getting that excitement going for the baseball. So I'm excited. If you can't tell, I'm very excited. Apple green. Here we go. So that's apple green is the next one that we're doing. I was hoping this would be a little brighter, but I guess it's okay. So I'm, yeah, proud Oma here. Very proud of my my grandbabies. My granddaughter Haley here in California, she did softball. Was it last year or the year before that she did softball? And she had fun at that. I think she did two years of softball. But she'd really like to do something different. Sports, I think, would be great for her. But if she has some some other activity, that would be great, especially um, like a physical activity, because you know exercise is really important. Um, and for everybody, you know, for their health, mental health, etc. But also having having a um, an outlet or some sort of hobby. Like I, I color. I used to do Counted Cross Stitch, crochet. I did a little bit of knitting. I didn't care for it, so I got a knitting machine. But that was, it's somewhere. I don't know where it is. I'd love to do that again because that was fun to be able to make stuff quicker. Because heck, semi mechanized knitting is is great because knitting can take forever. So I think that's good. I like some of the highlights, although I think they should have been lighter at the top than the bottom. Maybe I should make a little bit darker at the bottom. What did I do on my other ones? On the other ones when I was doing that. I have a, a cheat sheet, a mock-up of what this is. A semi-mock-up. Anyway, um, I wonder if I need a sharper tip on that. I've sharpened it once already. So let's see. That's darker. That should have been lighter, I think. Let's do this a little darker here. A um, little more here. A little more on the bottom here. So and for those of you watching, do you have children or 
grandchildren or do you yourself play in sports or some sort of activity other than coloring? You know, what do you do? Let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Um, love to hear about any, you know, activities that you, you or your family do. It doesn't matter whether it's art related, you know, or do you play a musical instrument? Um, I actually have my grandmother's piano. My grandmother was a, a pianist and used to teach piano. And so my brother happens to have that talent and he played for many, many, many years. He, unfortunately, since he lives in an apartment, he can't have his piano. And since he, uh, you know, a lot of piano and, and classical piano, you really, really have to have tone and pitch and all of that. So playing a clavichord or one of those electronic pianos, they, they don't have the full range of keys. So it's it, you're kind of limited as to what you can play. And he doesn't play uh, popular music. The most popular I think he gets to is Ragtime, which he absolutely loves. And when he plays it, he plays it very um, beautifully. There's so much feeling, so much feeling in it. I played piano for a while, and um, while I played really well and I did good, the anxiety over having to do recitals was um, a little much for me, so I really had a hard time uh, dealing with that and doing, playing in them. They were just so so intense for me. So, um, definitely let me know whether or not you, you play an instrument or if you, you know, do some sort of extra activity other than, you know, that, or maybe your activity is just watching YouTube videos. Who knows? I mean, it could very well be. So I've got this done where I like. So now I'm going to work on this one because I don't have colors picked out for this. Do I have colors picked out for this one? What is this one? That one says 904 blended. And I don't know what it's blended with. Alrighty, well, we'll figure that out. I'm going to right now do this particular one. And this one has, let's see, is... nine okay this one is I'm sticking my hand in the camera view 929 and 914 and since I only have numbers and one is a pink looks like a green oh there's green in it no just pink and yellow okay green so let's pick out a cream Oops, let's put yep, that away in my leave section. I'm going to keep the phone close to me. Um, so 914 is green. And... Nine twenty nine is cr no nine twenty nine is what? Since it's a leaf, excuse me. Probably this. Nope. Let's see. Let's see. Nine oh zero eight one zero nine seven nine two five nine eight eight. I need nine twenty nine. Nine eleven. 11, 1, 1, 0, 0, 5, 1, 0, 9, 1. Holy mackerel. Maybe it's this one. No, 1099. 9. Good heavens. Is this it? No, that's purple. Maybe this? No, that's 989. 9. Who knew I had this many p pin pencils? But then again, this is a Johanna Basford book, and she does have lots of garden scenes and lots and lots of leaves. Maybe this? No, 1908 is pale sage. Can't be this, is it? 109? Nope, that's uh, Prussian green. And I am not locating the correct color. Oh, is it yellow chartreuse? No, that's 1004. And that's a gray. This is what rosy beige. 
Now, do you see enough? I'm going to need to find the pencil. So I'm going to stop here for a minute. And of course, I'll be back in a moment. And it'll seem like just I never left. Hold on. I wish there was a pause button here. I'm back for something that was unbelievably um, silly. Um, here it is. I was looking for a green because I have one section on my page that was green. And I didn't need a green. I needed a pink. So 929, which is pink. So, so there's that. Okay, we have that taken care of. Woohoo! And I think I'm going to start off in the bottom here. Now, what is it? It's darker that it's farther away and lighter when it's forward. So, let me get started here. Let me double check that I am, in fact, in frame. Because this is a different section. I'm going to get a little closer to. Okay. I really need a footstool. Okay. I don't remember what I was talking about before I stopped to look for the pencil. But that's okay. I'm sure that I can figure out something else to share with you. Again, hopefully I've stopped yelling and I'm actually talking a normal level and hopefully I'm not too quiet. I'm trying to, I think I'm trying to increase my volume only because I have a tendency for my voice to get grovelly when I try to get quiet. I don't think I use enough, my diaphragm enough in order to try and talk, but then I end up projecting. So I don't know. It's all so confusing. Oh, I'm forgetting about blending here. Well, down here, it's not so bad. I know, dead air. I feel as if I should be talking the whole time. But I forget that I need to talk and I start concentrating on something and next thing I know it, I'm not talking. And I don't want to bore you to death with just idle chit chat. And I don't do this speed coloring thing only because I right now don't have that ability, nor do I do voiceover because I don't have that ability either. But maybe in time in the future, I might have that ability. Right now, it is what it is. And I if you, I, I hope it's okay with you, you know, you'll have to be because that's the way it is. So, I am having fun doing this. You know, I wasn't even sure in the beginning if I could do a color and chat kind of thing because, you know, not really knowing, not really knowing what to talk about since I'm not really that much of a conversationalist and especially when it comes to talking with others it's a little I don't know it's uncomfortable I guess and I wonder if I wonder you know if you have a channel and you're watching me you know what what have you done in order to get over this awkwardness if you even had a problem with the awkwardness when you were recording especially in the beginning I don't know maybe you still have that just like actors oh I'm out of the frame I'm not out of the frame but I'm making a shadow the um I wish I had lights that came from different directions so that I could color and not be, you know, caught, caught, casting a shadow. But, and I'm saying but a lot. I'm trying not to say um a lot. I'm finding that I do need to work on my uh, public speaking skills. Not that I'm going to go talk in public. Oh no. But, I do need to improve that so that I can still hold a decent conversation with you and or for you. Let's see if there's anything else I need to firm up here. Of course, I can always go over and I need to sharpen this. And I'm only going to sharpen it just a teeny tiny bit just to get the, the tip. Yep, that's more like what I like. I have this particular Prismacolor pencil sharpener that was given to me 
uh, my son and daughter-in-law when they gave me the Prismacolor pencils for Christmas last year. And I'm very, very thankful and I'm thrilled that they gave them to me because I absolutely love them. And I like the sharpener, you know, so it's really good. I had a, a gal who sent me some Happy Mail and she gave me this uh, Cume sharpener. And it's made in Germany and it really has, you know, two holes in it. And it comes to a nice, a nice point and it doesn't really shave off too much of your your pencil and I do like a nice sharp tip but especially these smaller areas and oh I forgot those down here where is this I guess I didn't realize that these were here but one thing let me get back to the subject of my 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 new room that I want to put together is that um it, it's been very difficult for me and like going through, I hoard things, you know, it's like I know I'm going to need it at some point and I don't want to get rid of anything because I don't want to be, you know, without something if, you know, somebody asks for something or if I need something, you know, I'm afraid to, to let that go for fear that I don't remember it or I need it and it's lost forever. So I've been working on that and getting rid of a bunch of, a bunch of stuff and old, old tax papers and all of that stuff. So I, this really doesn't look as creamy as I wanted it to. Maybe I need to work it in that way. Well, I think it'll look different once, different once I put the background in. That will probably make it, oh boy, make a difference. How am I going to do this? I think that's good. This whole blending thing, I'm, I'm trying to learn how to do and transition from one color to another. You want, want me to do it with beads? I can do it, you know, relatively easy with that. The one thing, one um, pattern that I like to do for my beads is called a spiral rope chain, and it's really nice, and I've learned how to transition and go from, because the middle color is one way, and then you have this other section that spirals on the outside, and I've learned how to transition from the color on the outside to switching the colors from the inside to the outside, and that's a lot of fun but I haven't really done so much with my beads uh, lately and so I've decided to start like some of the pieces that I've already made I'm selling that in my Etsy shop and um, that's a very slow process for me especially trying to get rid of items that while I did make them for sale years ago it's still you know trying to get rid of something after you really like it you um, made several of them you've you know you're doing different pieces and I can't get to the point I'm trying to make um, so yeah those are gonna go up in my uh, my Etsy shop which is crafty goods c-r-a-f-t-d and then the next word is g-o-o-d-s and I'm gonna start selling off the different pieces that I've made and I'm gonna also sell some pieces that I didn't make but they were gifts to me that I just don't wear. And it's not that I don't appreciate them, because I really do, but they're items that I don't wear. And instead of taking them apart and using them for, I could make a different necklace with them or something. I really, you know, because I like them, I want them to be in their entirety. And I hope that somebody else will be able to uh, use them uh, because I'm not able to. And it's no, no offense, and like I said, not appreciative or anything, but because it really is. I just don't, I don't always wear a lot of jewelry, but I, I certainly do have a few pieces that I really like. And there's one piece that I got yesterday. Um, it's earrings, a necklace, and a bracelet. And it's chunky, and I really like it. It's chunky with some metal-type pieces on it, and I really like that. Well, this turned out really nice. I really like that. Um, and so that one was um, the 914 cream, and the other one is uh, 929, which is pink. So that's nice there um let's see now to figure out what i'm going to do here and these look like they're the same exact leaf or plant i should say do i have any others like that no i don't gosh there's a lot of leaves here but that's okay that is okay i have these and quite a few more pencils of green and browns and yellows to use so i'm going to make this a little bit smaller or the word was bigger sorry so I'm going to first work on this one first because I figure it's more in frame than this one is. I think this is off out of frame, but I never know because on my picture, 
on my screen, I see that this part right here is the line for off frame. And way up here is the line for off frame. But I'm thinking it's more in the lines up here that is only what's viewable. <clears throat> Pardon me. I need to get a drink. Hold on for one second, please. Okay, much better. Much better. Okay, so now to figure out what we're going to do for color. I am going to have a darker background, so I want these to be a little lighter, but I don't want to overshadow what the colors that are going to be bright for the tiger. So what am I going to do? Um, let's see. Let's see this color. That's pretty. That's probably what a chartreuse. Uh -huh, it is chartreuse. Um, so that's an option. Let's see. This is probably apple green. Yep, apple green. I think those are what? No, those aren't. Those are nine. These are nine oh eight and one zero zero four. So, what am I gonna do? Okay, let's get swatching. Oh, that's black. We don't want that one. Okay, ochre. Uh, I think I want that a little brighter. This is a sage, I think. Yeah, pale sage. That might be nice. That's an option. Nope, that's too dark. But this might be a nice balance between these two. Nope, not the color I wanted. I want the green. That's this one here. Okay, I'm going to do that for a possible combination between those two. This is probably lime peel. Yep. Gosh, I'm getting good in my colors now. And what else would be a nice bright color? Uh, it's okay. See, like, these two would go together. Those two go together. Okay, let's see. Um... That's Kelly Green. And what's this? This is Moss Green. Okay. I don't think I'm going to use those. This one's Artichoke, which of course is on the yellow side. Espresso. Espresso's a brown. A darker brown. I don't think I want that one either. I think I like the artichoke, which is that color, which is one zero one zero one zero nine eight. And this is moss green. They're too small. I don't think I want that. What's a moss green number? 1097. This is an option. No, that's espresso. Okay. Um, but I definitely like the moss green. And I like that it goes with this one. And it goes with this one. Although I really like this pair here and it's smaller. I wonder if I use Pale Sage. I could probably use an actual cardstock paper and see how that works here. So. And then the next one is what? I think this one. Is it this one? Yes. Still trying to do this whole blending thing. Okay, there's that. 
And then how about if I put this one with it, which is the artichoke. And I think I need to blend it differently. I think it needs to go this way. And then it needs to go this. And then I think it needs to go this. Am I doing any of this on camera? No, it looks like I'm doing it all off camera. Sorry about that, brother. Yeah, once again, learning curve. I don't know, this one just doesn't work. So let's just do these three. I say let's, as if you're coloring, but in a way you're kind of coloring with me. You're here watching me color. Okay, so we are just going to do these two colors. And this uh, one here, this is called Celadon Green. Sounds like a dinosaur. C-E-L-A-D-O-N Green. And it's number, of course it is a PC, 1020. And then we have the Pale Sage. Again, I'm off camera. Pale sage 1089 all righty so let's let's get to it so um since i want it darker i need a tip on this i haven't used this one yet except for swatching that's all i've done Trying to figure out where I'm in camera since I have to look off to the side so much. I know I'm supposed to be. They say spin, some do, some don't. Some colorists use a um, other types of manual sharpeners and others use electric sharpeners. I don't know the right or wrong. Some say these pencils are um, delicate. Others say they're not. One gal actually went through, I think it was um, Lori at Color My World, and she quite literally put the pencil through the ringer. She ran it over, she dropped it, she threw it out of her second story window, drove over it with her tire several times, put it in the heat, all kinds of stuff she did to that. And apparently in the pencils that she has, they survived just fine. So I haven't had any problems with it. You know, since this is supposed to be in the background, I wonder if I should be doing a darker color. because these look farther back than these. This I'm gonna need a darker color. It's okay, Roxy. I have a dog. It's okay, baby. Good girl. Good girl. It's okay. Good girl. Roxy, ah, ah, shh. No. Roxy. Hey, come here, baby. Come here. Good girl. Roxy's an old baby. Huh? You old baby? Yeah. You're getting so gray. Yeah. Where's your, oh, there it is. Yeah, I gotta brush you. Yeah. Alrighty, you lay down, be good girl. Lay down, be good baby. Lay down. Lay down, baby. Good girl, lay down. There's no treats right now. You lay down. You're a good girl. Good girl. I know what you want to do too. Lay. No, lay down, Roxy. Lay. Good girl. No grumbling. Good girl. Okay. Let me see if we. I probably. I need to do this in a darker. Is it even in screen? Where am I? Not really, let's move it right here. Okay. okay. Shh, it's okay, baby. It's okay, girl, it's okay. So let me do something darker. Let me do the moss green, 1097. Huh, how about that, 1097? Alrighty, let's do that. <laughs> Roxy, please don't make me go cl close the door. <laughs> Hold on a second, I'm gonna go close the door so she can be quiet because she's not until I close the door. Be right back. There you go. 
There you go. Go lay down. Go on. Go eat your cookie. Okay, I am back. Let's get this going. Let's get the show on the road. Woo woo. Man, Roxy, I didn't know you ate that stuff no so noisily. She's almost like smacking her lips over there. I really hope this is really, truly in frame. I could have made these a different color, but since they're in the background, of course, I'm not really giving them much shade either. Is it shading? Yeah, shading. All of this is so new. Am I still recording? Yes, I am. Okay. Yesterday, I went, I met. I went with a friend that I went in, uh, used to um, play with in my neighborhood when I was growing up. And yesterday she and I went and saw her brother, whom I have not seen since I was a kid. And it was, it was a really nice reunion of sorts. It was really nice. And then I met his wife and one of their children who happens to be, I guess, at the home, at their house visiting. So definitely was a lot of fun. A lot of fun okay now for this next set of leaves that's basically from the same plant let me move this in frame I am going to use this and it should be okay this and oh did I put it away that's going to be what is that the celadon green yep so I'm gonna use that I'm gonna sharpen this a little bit I don't have my other bowl to use my other my other one Hopefully I'm not so gigantic because I, I know that I increased the, do I want a little bit more? There we go. Ah, oh, nice point. Look at that. Nice point. Nice point. Oh, wrong way. Nice point. Don't want to smear other colors on here. I'm going to do these really light here, and then I will blend it with the other color and see how that works. Yeah, I thought I'd had some of this planned out to figure out what the colors with, uh, with coloring and getting these together in the background, but I, I hopefully they won't blend together too, too much since they're all pretty much greens. Although I got that one kind of nice with some different colors and those two. We shall see. And like I said in my original video, I'm not, I'm used to coloring on these. I'll print out some pages. Um, like I have digital copies of some coloring books from, uh, what is it? The coloring, coloring, color book cafe or something like that. And I have those. So I printed out on regular paper. I only recently, you know, got, got this um, uh, nice printable art paper. Um, I think it's some sort of vellum. I don't remember the company that makes it, but so that I can print things out on better paper. I didn't realize that paper kind of really makes a difference when it comes to what you're coloring on or when you're coloring. I didn't know that it made that much of a difference. But I do now. Okay, um, there's that, and the other one I wanted to use is the Pale Sage. Am I still in focus? Still there? Yes. Okay. Now, I have more of a, uh, I guess, a harder touch. I'm trying to keep the pencil so I'm not really pressing hard. 
but it's a little difficult. You know, I'm trying to color and get this in here as I scribble all over the place. I have this thing where my spinal cord is compressed by three uh, vertebrae as they're growing inside uh, towards, and my it's strangulating my spinal cord. And so I have a tendency where my hand will just jerk and I color in places I shouldn't. And so far, so far, knock on wood, it's doing good. Oh, I better not do that too loud. The dog will start barking again. But so far, so good. Today, I'm coloring just fine. I have some pages that um, I'm too embarrassed to show. I've colored outside of the lines because it's jerked around too much. I think these are turning out really nicely. I'm really happy with these. But I would like to make the middle a little darker. Celadon green. What can I do to make it a little bit darker, even though it is? Because I don't want to press so hard that it goes through the other side. Oh, that reminds me. I didn't put my protective paper back here. I've got the yellow regular paper, but I want a little something extra. But I guess it doesn't really help if I'm pressing here. It's going to go through the other side and mar mark the other side of the other pages. So like I was saying, yeah, I went and saw them, and they've invited me to a, a birthday party in uh, June. I don't, I'm, you know, it's also new seeing people that you, you know, used to hang around with as a kid. And so it's um, interesting to see them now as an adult. And of course, we all mature and get older and, you know, do things. I was always the odd child, and no matter where I went, which was, you know, okay, I guess. I was pretty much an only child, even though my, my brother is 17 years older than I am, and I love him to death. He raised me for the first three years of my life, so it's a um, a, a really special relationship. I, I didn't have a father, so he was pretty much like a father to me. You know, he raised me. A lot of times he stayed home from school to take care of me because my mom had to go work. She was a nurse, so she had to go work in the hospital. So I, uh, I think that, uh, you know, it was... It was really, really good. So anyway, I think I think this video is going to be way longer than what I wanted to because it's already, what, 34 minutes and I've had a couple other videos that I'm going to need to splice together. And yeah, I think this is long enough. So anyway, I want to thank you very much for joining me today. Um, if you like this video or you don't, please click the like button, click the dislike button. I don't mind. Um, I would like to have you give me some sort of co constructive feedback regarding um, this video or any of my other videos, if you do that to the others. Um, there we go saying I'm again. So yeah, if you like it, you don't, whatever, you know, that's, that's fine with me. I would love to have you leave me a comment. I really appreciate those and I do read them. I do respond, maybe not right away, but I do, I do respond eventually. I try to do it uh, once a week. So um, the other thing too is if you're new to my channel, please click the subscribe button. Um, also, click the notification bell so that you um, get notifications for the new videos that I put in. Also, for any live streams when I'm able to do more live streams. I like those. I've done two so far. And I am really excited that you are here. You're watching my video. Um, also, if you feel that this is something that uh, some person that you know is interested in coloring or you think it would be something fun for them to watch, please feel free to share that as well. Alrighty. Uh, thank you very much for watching my videos, and you have a nice day. Bye-bye.